Hello guys, today I want to talk about one of the things that I found truly different when I first came to China and that is the way people get around in cities and that is these electric bikes, scooters I'm still not really sure what, how you should call them in English these electric bikes or scooters anyway in Chinese they're called Dian Dong Che which is electric moving vehicles They look like mopeds, I would say, or like motorcycles, small motorcycles, but they run on electricity. These are everywhere. These are really common in China, in every city. And I don't just mean common like, oh, you will often see them. I mean like they're everywhere. People use them all the time. So I want to talk about several aspects of riding a scooter or electric bike in China. about is the price how much does one of these cost well obviously just like with anything they all they come in all shapes and sizes and all prices this one I got for about 2,500 RMB brand new 270 pounds something like that I don't know $400 I think it's a good price I've had this thing for four years no problems at all this is not the most fancy or the most fast one or the most pretty looking one just the very regular looking one. There are cheaper than that and there are more expensive than that. So this is the average price, 2,500 RMB. You can get a very, you know, a decent electric scooter slash bike, whatever you want to call it. Second thing is, I guess, how fast do these go? Looking at my video, you can see the speedometer right there. It says about 47 maximum. That's actually uh, a lie. It doesn't go that fast. I use the real speedometer on my phone GPS app and I think the maximum I hit was about 40, 42 kilometers an hour. Generally about 40 and my average speed is about 30 kilometers an hour. So it's a very safe speed, I would say. But you know, fast enough to be worth it for getting one of these. The next aspect, I guess, would be um, how safe is it to ride one of these on Chinese streets in Shanghai? So I can only speak from Shanghai's experience, but I have been to other cities in China like Xi'an, Beijing, Langfang, Suzhou, Hangzhou, and I see that it's very similar to the situation in Shanghai, and that is it's extremely safe. It's extremely safe to ride one of these on the streets. Why? Because the bike lane, as well as the bicycle lane, is not just separated by a line on the road it's totally separated from the cars with a border right so there's no way the cars can get to you and that's why I feel extremely safe right, so the only time you actually need to be careful is at the intersections and by need to be careful I don't mean it's dangerous I mean that's the only time you should actually worry about cars now what are the rules for one of these well we need a number plate Right, but you don't need to pass, you don't need a license, you don't need to pass a test. The number plate literally just means that it's registered and to get it you need to buy a vehicle that is legal and for it to be legal it needs to have a certain width of tires, some other technical aspects. So you basically you buy a scooter, you drive to the place where they give you number plates, they check it out and they give it to you there and then very, very fast, just like everything else in China. It's actually funny, I bought it in the shop with tires that are slightly thicker than the legal limit. <laughs> So they changed it to me to thin tires. I went to get the number plate and I came back to the shop and they put the thick, thicker tires back on. The other rules is you are not allowed to give anyone rides on the back. So I mean, two people can fit on it, but you're not allowed to give rides to adults. You can give rides to children. So you will often see grandpas or grandmas take children to school. Now that doesn't mean that people don't do it. People do it all the time. You just have to be careful because sometimes in random spots they'll be like those uh, traffic police and if they see you they might stop you and give you a fine so generally what happens is people will see the traffic police in front of them they will let the passenger get off cross the street and then they'll get back on <laughs> as i say people are cheeky here The 
another thing that you might be wondering is how easy is it to charge one of these? Well, it's extremely easy. You don't need a special charging port, port like for electric cars. You literally need a plug in the wall, right? Like this, this is the Chinese plug. And the other get end obviously goes into the scooter. A few hours and it's fully charged. How often do you need to charge it, I hear you ask. Well, that depends on your scooter. My scooter can go about 70 kilometers before it's out of battery. So for me that's totally fine, 70 kilometers is more than enough. This is more for short range to medium range journeys, like I take this to work and that's 30 kilometers total, which is on the higher end of, of uh, scooter usage I guess. Right, so it's very convenient to charge these things, I mean um, in my compound, you might have seen in my other video, I have a park specifically for electric scooters so I have my own little space and I can charge and I plug in my plug it into there and it costs me how much hundred something RMB for six months I mean it's crazy cheap uh, but I see some people like if they you know we live in apartment blocks I see some people take the extension cord from their window all the way down from like the, all the way up from like the fifth or sixth floor and they leave the scooter on the ground floor and they charge it that way. So getting around the city in an electric vehicle that is quite fast but at the same time very safe is amazing. I don't know why in my home country, in England, these are not legal. These are great for the environment, these are safe and the speed is really good uh, but yeah if you're in China and you're planning to spend here more than a year like two years if you're coming to live here get one of these right short medium range journeys are perfect like you're going shopping jump on one of those you're going to school to work jump on one of those you just want to take a ride around the city and enjoy the sights get on one of those all right guys peace Right, I just arrived at my workplace and I left my scooter here and I just want to mention one more thing, parking your scooter, parking your scooter is never ever, has never been a problem for me. You can literally go anywhere you like in the city and not worry about where will I leave my scooter because there will always be a place, you, will, you can leave them in the same place where all the shared bicycles are and there's just plenty of stations. Any building you're going to, any supermarket, any park, it's always easy to find a place to leave your scooter. Very convenient city. And yeah, I mean, I've noticed the same thing in Beijing, in Lampang, what have you.